Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi, and welcome to part 9 of the Professional Photoshop Portrait Retouching Series on SRLounge.com. Now, in the last tutorial, we finished kind of all of our retouch. We're done. We're just going to add some final uh, detail enhancing uh, effects to our image, and then we're going to go on to uh, part 10 where we're going to add just the final color adjustments to the image, and we're done. So, we're getting near the end. You guys have done the hard part, and uh, let's get going on part 9. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to once again hit Alt Control uh, Shift E on that very top layer to merge all of our layers onto a new layer. We're going to call this Part 9, and this is going to be Enhance, Enhancing and Sharpening Details. Hit Enter. Now, what we're going to do on this layer is we're going to create uh, two different effects. Number one, we're going to do a basic sharpen, and that basic sharpen is just going to be a sharpening on how I want the image overall to look. So let's do that first. What I'm going to do when I sharpen my image is I'm going to zoom to 100%. So I can see a pixel to pixel preview. I'm going to go up to my filters. And let's actually just do a, a duplicate layer of this because I want to create two different sharpening effects. So let's hit uh, Control J to jump this to a new layer. We're going to rename this one as just our unsharp mask. And on this layer, what I want to do is just add a sharpening mask. So all I'm going to do is go down to sharpen, unsharp mask, and we're just going to sharpen to the point where I feel like everything should be in this image. So just all the basic detail where I feel like it should be. And I'm going to say at about 3 pixel radius and around 50%, again a lot of this is kind of personal preference, is kind of where I want everything to be in the image. Um, I feel like overall this most of the, everything is where I want it to be. I'm going to hit OK that's our basic unsharp mask. Now I'm going to take our same background layer, I'm going to hit jump one more time. Now I'm going to move this up to the top and what we're going to do is we're going to call this our high pass sharpening, uh, what we'll call it high pass detail enhancing. Okay, and uh, let's, what we're going to do with this layer is we're going to go to the filters, we're going to go to other, we're going to go to high pass, and then what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to turn it to about four pixels. You can go anywhere between like three and four pixels. That's about where you want it to be. Let's do three pixels actually. Four is a little bit too thick. We're going to hit OK. And now this doesn't look good the way it is. So what we need to do is actually change the blend mode. And so let's take the blend mode on this and let's go to vivid light. And what this is going to do is basically really make the image pop and it's going to enhance a lot of the detail. Whoops, sorry, I just switched the blend mode by scrolling. Let's go back to Vivid Light. So what we need to do with this effect is we need to paint it in only where we want it because we don't want it over skin areas. So I'm going to hold Alt and hit Mask so it creates an inverted mask automatically. And then I'm just going to paint this over the areas that I want enhanced detail. So one of the areas I want kind of to enhance detail is kind of over the hair. So we're going to select our brush by hitting B. I'm going to invert my colors. So I have white. I can paint in. Whoops. Make sure that we're selecting the mask itself. And I don't know why this switched to subtract. Let's put it back on vivid light. And then we're going to paint in this mask over where we want these details enhanced. Let's bring our brush hardness down again and just bring it over the hair. I'm going to reduce the opacity of this in a second, so don't worry if it's too strong as it is right now. I just want a nice, subtle kind of detail enhancement over the areas of detail that I, I really want to kind of pop and to stand out. One of those is the hair. The other part of this is uh, basically her eyes. I'm going to have it over her eyes. And again, we're going to tone it down in a second, so don't worry. The hair on her eyebrows and then the lips. finish up this mask by just selecting black. I'm going to hit backslash so we can see where we're painting. I'm just going to kind of clean this up a little bit. Oops, there we go. Alright, for the purpose of this tutorial this is fine where it's at. Now what we're going to do is just pull out where we, uh, basically we're just going to reduce that effect so we don't see as much detail where we don't want it. What well, we do actually just kind of lessen the detail effect. I actually do want to add it to her veil too, sorry. Her veil I think would look really cool if it had enhancement details. Yeah, that looks pretty awesome. So let's add it to the veil and we'll add it to like the bottom of the dress as well. Okay, it's about right. Let's check it out. Make sure there's not too much of... I want to 
just kind of unpaint this uh, skin area because I really don't want the skin area to be sharpened. Just make sure that we're not sharpening any of the skin detail. Let's take a look. I'm going to hit backslash again. Let's look at the mask. I don't see any skin being, whoops, I don't see any skin being uh, sharpened, so I think we're okay. Let's just make sure that that hair detail is done. And the skin underneath the uh, the veil I'm not too worried about just because, well, the veil is already really softening it anyway, so it should be fine. And we're going to re reduce the kind of effect of this, uh, this look, anyway, the sharpening effect. So let's zoom back in, and now let's tone this down. So we're going to tone this down probably to around maybe about 50%. And it just gives us a nice little pop over those hair, eye, and, and lipstick details and stuff like that. All right, guys, so let's clean up this uh, these three layers that we did by selecting all three by holding Shift. I'm going to hit Control-G to add these to a group, and we're going to name this entire group Part 9, which is the, what do we call it, Enhancing Sharpening. Again, this entire process is really up to you guys. Whatever you guys want to enhance and sharpen, it's really preferential. So, All right, so let's check out the before and after of our enhancing and sharpening effects. So I'm going to click this, visibility, and there's the before. Here's the after. You can see how we just get a nice little pop out of it. Uh, just really does a nice job enhancing those details. Okay, let's go on to the final tutorial, part 10. We're going to show you guys how we get the final color adjustments added to this image.